everybody, it's Marie from Pear Tree Paper Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a 12x12 12 12 process video for you for Spiegel Mom Scraps. Um, so this one does class as an advertisement. Um, so today I'm scrapping two photographs of my son that you can see there um, from a couple of autumns ago um, when we visited Chatsworth House um, in the Peak District and um, we had loads of fun just sort of hunting for conkers and playing around. So I decided to go with a wood grain background um, for this layout but before I popped my photographs on I decided that I really wanted to do a bit of mixed media um, and make um, a little bit of, um, put a little bit of gold on there to sort of pop out from behind um, the, photo, uh, the photos and the bits of um, die cuts and cup files that I'm going to place on there. Um, the problem I had with the spray bottle was that it's completely clogged up and I just cannot get it to work at all. Um, so I decided what I was going to do um, was um, just give it a really good shake and then I used my paintbrush uh, just in the bottle. So I took the lid off and just used my paintbrush. And as you saw there, I put some in the middle of the page. Um, and I put some at the top right and the bottom left. And now I'm just using the same um, gold spray. It's, it's uh, Nuvo, it's the Antique Gold. And um, I'm just using that same colour and I'm painting it over um, six of the die cut um, leafy sprigs um, that I've got here. I've cut more than six out, I've got a whole load of them in white but I wanted some in gold um, to pop in between the white as well. Um, so that's just what I'm doing there, just adding that colour to those um, little die cuts. And you can see as well as painting it on I've also done some splatters. So I've left it to dry and I'm now just taking some adhesive um, foam and popping it on the back of each photograph. I haven't matted my photographs and I normally do but I haven't for this one. I want to keep it really simple, really simple colour scheme um, and I want the die cuts and the cut files to do the talking. Um, I do realise I want to overlap my photographs so all I'm doing here is just um, peeling a small amount of the foam back off of the back of the photo um, so that I can overlap them but they still pop off the page. And I'm just going to use some of my Tombow wet glue here um, to glue these down. I do find wet glue is better than double sided sticky um, when it's on top of mixed media. As you can see my page is a little bit warped there. So here are the cut files I'm using. These cut files um, are from Cut To You um, and I've cut various different, um, there's, I think there's two different ones I've cut out. I've cut three of the smaller flower and then I've cut two of the larger one. Um, so I'm just playing with the positioning of those now on the page and deciding where I'm going to put them. And I think I'm pretty set. I think that's where I want them to go. So then I just start playing with these um, die cut pieces um, of, of leaves. I just wanted, the, I mean the cut files are beautiful. I just wanted a little bit of something extra poking out from behind them. So, and I wanted to sort of mix up the white and the gold like I said. So I'm just popping those in at all different places around those photos. Um, trying to overlap the white and the gold and I think it just makes them stand out beautifully. Some of the die cuts I just cut down a little bit because they're quite long um, and I just wanted extra little bits sticking out here and there but without them being massively in the way or massively sort of overlapping each other. I wanted them to be to be separate. So just tucking all the little pieces in putting them down just to make them fit and I'm really happy with the look it's um it's, it is exactly what I was going for so I'm really pleased with it so far and then all I'm going to do now is take my fine liner glue and I'm going to start sticking them down and I thought about sticking them down completely and then actually what I decided to do was just put some tiny bits of glue um, on the base of the different pieces because I didn't want to um, I wanted to have some dimension and some lift and it just feel very um, very much like foliage and that it's kind of sticking up and it's very free so I just put glue underneath just to secure them down and then they've got some some movement so on these big um, die cut pieces I just put it in the center of those flowers there and then just press those down and then that's enough to get it to stick down onto the page same here so I'm just lifting them as little as I can to get a little bit of glue underneath to secure everything down and then I can 
carry on and, and finish the layout. So I just want them to be able to be lifted up at the end a little bit. So I'm really happy with how that's looking so far. Just got this last one to do now and decide where that's going. And then these last few little fronds to tuck underneath. I try and tuck the end um, of those die cut pieces under um, some of the white of the cut file so you don't necessarily see the end sticking out. Then all I do is trim off the ends of the cut files that are hanging over the page and stick down any edges so that I've not got random edges kind of flying around um, so that it's, it's stuck down to the edge. So you see there, I've just trimmed that all the way and then I'm just going to go around there and just glue those edges on. Make it nice and neat and tidy. I felt like the edges needed to be stuck but the, the other parts could be free. So just putting tiny bits of glue. I do like my fine liner glue. Very easy to position it exactly where you want it without getting loads of glue everywhere else. So that's it for sticking down all the bits of... Oh, just one more there. That's it for sticking down all the little bits of cut file. Oh, another one. I must have found another one on my desk. Can't let it have, going, have it go into waste. So now I'm just going to use some glossy accents. Um, and I'm just going to pop the glossy accents in different places all around the outside of this foliage. And die cuts and the cut files. And pop these beautiful sequins on. Now the sequins I'm using are from the Into the Woods collection. The mix, sorry, not collection. And there are, I think there are three different ones in there. Um, there's a smaller one and then two slightly larger ones. And they're a kind of woody, wood effect. And they're very sparkly, they're very gold, which is why they work so well with the gold um, spray, the gold colour that I used on the page. And then... Um, but they also got kind of a wood grain to them, so it fits perfectly with the theme of this layout. With all the leaves and the, the lovely sequins. I just choose areas as I go around, pop little blobs of the glossy accents on, and then choose sequins and just pop them on. I know some people use uh, tweezers, I maybe need to look into that because I do end up with glossy accents all over my fingers. I prefer glossy accents as my go-to sequin glue. Um, I know it's not technically a glue um, but it really does cling to the sequin as soon as it gets hold of it and it, the sequins then don't move and they dry really really well. And then the last thing I'm going to do on this layout is just take some white acrylic paint, water down and I'm going to do some splatters. I am going to cover that photograph though because I don't want any white splatters on there. And that's about it for my layout today. Thank you ever so much for watching um, and I hope to see you back at my channel again soon. There are lots and lots of beautiful sequin mixers available in the shop and there's free shipping available at the moment too so use my code MARIEH15 for 15% off. Bye for now! Mm -hmm.